with three on the ball, one left to go. And second place. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. Myself and Paddy Dunn from Wicklow are in Dublin Airport. Everyone's looking around at me like I have ten heads. It's making me nervous. We're heading for the Royal Highland Show. The World Sharing Champs is on this weekend. Absolutely can't wait. Could not be more excited for it. Yeah, no beer tonight, Paddy. Well, Sharing in the morning. <laughs> Cheers, Paddy. Cheers. Oh, poor performance. Not great now. <laughs> It'll have to be a bit better tomorrow. Go on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go on. Paddy Dunn, stand one. He's obviously gone, gone, go, go, do it, do it. Do it. What can they do? They can't do anything. Go on, do it. Go on, do it. Come on. Do it. Carl Lowe, anyhow, stand one. He's obviously flying. Come on. Right, so we are currently waiting for our flight. Was delayed. But we're back on track now. Robert, who's going to win the World Champs? Oh, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, give us a name. Ah. Who do you think? No, Off the no, top no. of your head, who do you think? Ah. Yeah, it's all of them, yeah. No, I'll, I'll leave it so. Okay, Paddy. Ivan Scott, all day. She's going back to Ballon Robe. Going back to Ballon Robe, Ivan Scott. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Who's going to win the World Champs? I'd say Ivan Scott as well. Jeez, have we got any other answers or no? It's just Ivan Scott all the way. I'd say Carl Devaney has a good chance anyway. Carl Devaney, well, he has to be in it anyway. That'll be a good start. <laughs> Who would you narrow it down to top three or four shares? Um, Ivan Scott, Callum Shaw, Roland Smith. And Richard, Richard Jones. Jones. Richard Jones. Richard Jones, who, yeah, yeah. Current defending yeah. champion, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty tight between them. Yeah. Matt Smith, too, I would say. He could be there, thereabouts, too, yeah. yeah. Matt will be there. She's going well. A lot well. of shows, yeah. 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 Matt's it's going well. A mouth watering weekend, even watching open cheering at home, because like, it's, there's so many people that could win it. Oh, anyone. Yeah. It's just 10 there to win it, anyone. Yeah. Or another man, Dennis O'Sullivan, he'd be. There for the final two if he gets there. Absolutely. Yeah. And Dennis has been cheering a lot in Scotland, so he'll be well used to the sheep. Yeah, you know so, around, yeah. yeah, I think the Irish team is pretty strong this year. Yeah, it's going great. well, yeah. yeah. World final anyway, world top six teams. Can't wait. Yeah. There'll be some crack. Will be. <laughs> Big boys. Right, we're running Chris there. He's on stand number one. She'll eat four sheep. Harvey Samuels fires away the belly while they're working on stand number two. This is the junior final. We got Robert Ellis there on stand number three. Fraser Campbell already fired away. Making a good job over there. Paddy. Happy with Paddy Shear? I was alright, I suppose. Yeah. Not too bad. I wouldn't say he won't be far away. Hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully they're. they're on Blackies there now, and we're just looking. The intermediate sheep now are Shevets. Sheevets, Sheevets. That's more than your Wicklow. You're, you're a good Shevet man. What do you think of them? Uh, they're alright, nice, tidy, hardy sheep. Yeah, they're looking hardy looking sheep, yeah. So I was just running around, and I bumped into Katie from Right Choice Street. So excited to be here. I mean, these shears are amazing. I wish I could be up on the stage with them, but I didn't quite make the cut. Yeah, so you're, not even that you made the cut, as in you didn't get entered in time. That's right. I was waiting on a friend to send me the link, and I should have just found it myself. Yeah, that's an absolute nuisance. <laughs> it's really amazing because in Texas, I don't even get to see other shears, and now I'm surrounded by them. And 150 in the open, that's insane. I'm so excited to see this work. Well, whether or not, whether we're shearing or not, we're going to have some bloody few days anyway. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think we're going to be exhausted by the end of this. <laughs> I tell you, I might send uh, five subscribers over to Right Choice Sharing. <laughs> I'll send a couple to where you too. <laughs> She'll be sending me a couple more, I'd say. <laughs> yes, sir. Unreal. Cheers. In fourth place, Harvey Samuel. Oh, ho. 
And he's in the top three. Right, now we're down to the big three. <laughs> and in third place, Fraser Caldwell. Oh. He's in the top two. Come on, guys. In the top two come to the steps. There can only be one winner. So that means in second place, we've got Paddy Dunn. Man, Penny. And the winner of the Royal Highlands Show, John White and Sons Junior Championship, is Stephen Wilson. Big hand, folks. Come on. So we're at the, I guess, opening ceremony, you could call it. And this is all the countries that are competing lined up. Ireland are up that way. My sister Grant's holding the flag. Very proud of the family. Every success, enjoy our hospitality, and also enjoy the Royal Highlands. Big hand for a very talented young man. Please welcome on to the stage our second speaker, Mary Goodgen, MSP. So I'm here with Joanne. We're getting our gear going, getting it sorted. The senior heats have just started. It's the first heat, and we're after finding out there's 18 heats, which is absolutely mental. And they're taking 18 cheers through to the semi-final out of that. They are on hornies now, they're on Lanark hornies, Lanark blackface, um, Scottish blackface, hoggets. So we are a bit more used to the blackies maybe than people from in different parts of the world. So that's the one advantage we have. But yeah, it is going to be fast and furious. And it's the kind of thing where there's that many cheers and that much talent in this grade that you just have to cheer like it's a final and you have to bring your absolute best cheer. There's no coasting through here. If you do any coasting, you're out. You may as well go to the pub because you're done. What do you think, Joanne? Go hard or go home. Let's <laughs> see how we get on. So after Joanne's good cheer, a couple of heats later, it was my turn to have a crack. She was in the pin and I asked her to give me out a relatively good sheep to start off. I like to get a good sheep to start off as it allows me to get settled into the heat that I'm shearing in or any round really, semi-finals or final either. It just allows me to keep on pace too or even maybe get a little bit ahead if anything and get a good start. But I nicked the belly on the first sheep. Not a huge nick but at the same time enough that I remember it threw me off a little bit at the time and I just had a little less faith in my comb while shearing the rest of the sheep. I still didn't end up shearing it too bad. It looked to go out relatively clean there. It was a nice roundy hog so it wasn't the hardest one to clean up. It was this second sheep that probably caused the most harm. Belly ended up alright. I don't think I nicked any skin on the belly or the undermine. It was when I went up the neck on this one that I started to get into difficulty. It was quite matty and even though I was able to break open that neck relatively quickly, it was on the shoulder and around the back of the head, those next blows that, that I had difficulty with. She was quite matty around the back of the head and neck there. 
So I found I was even having to put out my hand in front of the blow to try and stretch out the skin and keep it down. No big nicks, but at the same time, um, nicks are treated and scored quite severely in shows, and rightly so, because you know you don't want to be nicking sheep, and definitely um, it should be discouraged. At least two nicks on that sheep, if not three, around that area. Along with that, it just caused me to lose a lot of time too. I started to get into my shear and shear we bit be- better on the third and fourth ones, but they were better sheep. I do think damage was done at that stage, and while I sure looked like I sure these two off, all right. I knew that I had done damage early on and I definitely was quite tense and I definitely let that earlier work probably get to my head a wee bit. Needless to say, I finished in the early 30s out of 90 shears and I didn't make the cut of 24 shears. Joanne was a minute slower than me in the heat, but she was just relaxed. She'd done a good job, cleaned up her sheep and she made the cut. I pinned for Joanne in the semi-final and interestingly enough they were on very different sheep. They had six sheep instead of four which is natural enough usually as you go on and advance through the rounds the sheep numbers start to increase but the sheep were completely different. Each shearer got three big Texel mule hoggets and three big Suffolk hoggets. The hoggets were huge. They were big big hoggets and while Joanne had a great shear and she was very clean she probably just struggled a wee bit with the size of them. They were very different from the blackies that were in the heats and blackies probably suit Joanne. They were smaller, more manageable size of a sheep, whereas these ones were brutes of things. Good cheering, Joanne. While Joanne was clean, the time held her back a wee bit and she ended up missing out on the final cut. But she done very good getting in there. Making that semi-final cut out of 90 shears, she got into that top 24. I think she was either 21st or 22nd. She was delighted to get another shear and she done very well. So, well done to Joanne. It was a brilliant weekend and it had it all. From ridiculously high levels of shearing to animal rights protests. and other, more unexpected forms of entertainment. (laughs) Joanne and Hazel Crowe represented Ireland well in the wool handling. And James Hawkins and Peter Hurdy both made the All Nations Blade Final, with James winning it. Our two machine shares, Ivan Scott and Dennis O'Sullivan, had a very successful World Championships. The Republic of Ireland, Ivan Scott and Dennis O'Sullivan! They both made the team's final, and they both got into the individual world final too. Six and turn, yeah. That's, that's Next place, Adam
But good and all as the boys were, this World Champs was all about Team Wales. From Scotland. Sunday afternoon, myself and Joanne are headed for the plane. We had an absolutely great weekend, met lots of people, absolutely savage weekend of sharing. Um, the only thing is, Joanne has bragging rights in the house now for a while, because she bet me in the senior. <laughs> I'm actually that depressed about it, though. Three days later, I'm still uh, comforting Crispy Crown. And that savage weekend. <laughs> savage weekend, great weekend for Irish sharing, great weekend for world sharing. And great weekend for the Devanis. Uh, not 100 percent sure how this vlog is going to turn out because it was pretty hectic. We were trying to keep all sides going, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it gets on. Thanks for watching, guys. See you for the next one. Good morning, sheep fans. <laughs> the Rams name Sheep the Game. And today we're in the Royal Island Sheep Show. Some buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some buzz. <laughs>